feel my weight. And you don't gotta be big to wear someone's legs out, right? You can be light and heavy, okay? So I'm, I'm nudging, I'm looking for things, I'm looking for the weave, I'm looking for the slice. He's doing a good job supporting, he's pushing, right? We're framing, whatever it is, I'm coming through. And then now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna slide and I'm gonna bring my shin on top. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna windshield wipe. This leg does the same thing. Pressure on the knee, drive to the mat. As I do, I'm gonna bring my leg behind. Just like we windshield wipe on the, on the heavy bag. I go right to knee in the belly. Once I get to knee in the belly, knee in the belly is a little harder to stick, but if I can stick this, three for the pass, two for the knee and belly, five point transition. And then right away, the guy will normally start turning into me. If he turns, then I'm gonna step and kick the back on the far side. Again, hips off the floor. I don't wanna be here. Put your back to the floor. All right, go back. All right, I wanna make him carry my weight the whole time. In. I'm in my straight jacket, or I could just be just regular seatbelt attack, right? The choking hand, I'm always covering my watch, keeping my head on the same side. His hands will be in fighting me. I can start wrist riding, start looking for the choke, or I can start looking for the arm bar. If you like the straight jacket, every time you enter the back, just go for the, get your grip before you go. Just make it like a habit. Okay, he's jamming me up, can't get my space. I'm gonna level change. Now I can bulldoze into him, right? Now I can. Now I start nudging, I'm looking for something. If I don't have anything, he's framing, he's doing a good job. I'm gonna come through, slide, shin to shin, keeping good pressure. Windshield wipe, right? He starts turning into me, maybe trying to single leg me. Hide my foot, step. If I want to keep side control, I catch the arm. If I'm, if I'm looking for the back, I'm going to let go of the arm. And then my hips never touch the floor. I start pressing my sheet like I'm busting down the door. Grab the, get my arms. And now I'm set. Pushing, he starts driving back into me. Heavy, heavy. I start nudging. I don't find anything. I come through, slide, stretch. He turns. I hide my foot. Step. Get my grips. Okay. Once I'm here, if your hands ever get, like I, if your hands ever get tangled the wrong way, don't let go of the top arm. If you let go of the top arm, he has all this room to keep it away from you. If you get, if you get messed up with your, with your grips, just let go of the bottom arm. He has nowhere to go. He's pinned to the mat. I'll have an easier time finding it. If he keeps that hand away from me, he'll bring it back. If I can't get it, then I can just re-grab re it. And then I'm inside the hands. All right, wrist locks. I start playing on a lot of stuff. Stretch, inside grip, keep your chin down. Take your finger, put it right here. Just keep working, get as deep as possible. Okay. Finish. Questions? One, two, three.